Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Brother Steve back with another video. Good evening to everybody out there across the globe. I'm thankful to be back with y'all. Uh, all glory and praise to the Most High. Ahaya, Ashur, Ahaya, Bashim Yeshaya, Wawawa Kadesh. Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I just want to thank every single one of y'all out there. Um, I want to let you know how appreciative I am of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just want to thank every single one of you for allowing me the opportunity uh, for me to do the work, for giving me, you know, y'all's ear. And I, I pray and hope that, you know, these lessons and teachings have helped some of y'all out there. Seeing a real person out here, you know, in the flesh, doing the work in the harvest. You know, that's why I'm doing this thing. And I want to thank every single one of y'all for allowing me the opportunity to uh, share, you know, to share with y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is all about. It's about sharing and it's, you know, in this life. You know what I'm saying? So bless you, every, you know, every son and daughter, every son and daughter out there of the body of Christ. Bless every single one of you. Hebrew, Gentiles, I don't care what, you, what your race is. I don't care about all that. But I care about y'all serving Christ. And I just want to say I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, and I appreciate y'all allowing me the ability to be transparent with y'all. Okay? I believe in a level of transparency, brothers and sisters. I believe in being transparent. And I understand in this world that being transparent, coming from someone like me, uh, well, you know, we've been relegated to operate and, and systematically uh, to be superficial and fake and all that other stuff. Well, brothers and sisters, y'all already know that ain't me. You know what I'm saying? Could never be. You know, I, I, I ain't never operated like that. And, you know, and the Most High has always known that, you know, I would be, a, I'd be different. So, look, I just wanted to say I love y'all and, and thank you for the opportunity once again. And bless every single one of y'all families. Brothers and sisters, I got a couple things I want to talk about today. Um, I want to touch upon, uh, I want to touch upon the video that I did yesterday concerning uh, Septimius Service Niger. Okay, Hebrew, Israelite, Negro, Black Roman Emperor. I want to touch upon him. I had a couple things that I want to show you guys yesterday. But before I get there, what I like to do is I want to show you uh, a couple artifacts that I have. I have a couple historical ar artifacts that I like to share with you today. Okay, I want to share it with you today. Okay, so brothers and sisters. I'm going to briefly talk to you about uh, the Byzantine Empire, okay? I want to talk to you about the Byzantine Empire. So who, was it, what, who and what was the Byzantine Empire, okay? Now, the Byzantine Empire's essentially, brothers and sisters, was uh, after, after the fall of Rome, well, so-called fall of Rome, because essentially Rome in itself never really went anywhere. It just split in two different uh, distinct uh, parts. You had the Eastern Empire, you also had the Western Empire, okay? Now, the Eastern uh, Empire of Byzantine Rome, Eastern Rome, or the, uh, the provinces of Eastern Rome, uh, was considered Greek, okay? The Greek speaking in terms of the language. Uh, the Western part of Rome, of uh, the Byzantine Empire, was uh, your continuation of Latin, okay? Now, keep in mind, brothers and sisters, uh, this split occurred under uh, Constantinople I, okay? Constantinople I, all right? Um, also, too, let me see here. We are... A lot of people, when you're discussing Rome in itself or the history of Rome, there is a lot of confusion, brothers and sisters, because I know when I started going in depth in terms of the history of Rome and, and uh, where the people went, the governments, uh, well, y'all have to understand that through a lot of extensive research and studying, um, that's why 
that's why I had to get out here and get a lot of books because my thing is a lot of times when you're coming across different terminologies and associations for different places, you know, uh, uh, ethnicities, you know, a lot of the names changes. And if you're not uh, aware of those modifications throughout uh, the course of time, you could be a, a bit confused. So for some people, uh, I say for a lot of people, I've encountered a lot of people where they get, they really kind of get frustrated with the history because of, of, of the course of events that have taken place. But keep in mind, brothers and sisters, uh, the one book in this earth that if you're patient enough and you're willing to do the work and uh, allow the, the, the Rawat, Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, if you will, to move, the Most High will direct you in, in the direction in terms of where you need to go. Okay, and he'll show you, um, he'll show you, he'll point you in the right direction, and essentially you just have to just take your time. So, anyway, so I got something I want to share and show y'all, okay? And essentially, I wanted to, excuse me, I wanted to show y'all yesterday, but once again, when, when I was recording that video, uh, I ran out of, you know, I ran out of space, so I wasn't able to complete it. Because I'm going to tell you something, brothers and sisters. That video that I did yesterday could have been at least two, three hours, straight up. Because there's so much information that I wanted to give you in terms of names, uh, the people, uh, you know, the, the battles that uh, Septimia Service Niger uh, participated in, fought in, uh, conquered, uh, all of the internal battles, the civil wars, if you will, uh, the political strifes. You know, there's a lot of different uh, details that I wanted to share with y'all yesterday, but I couldn't. So once again, brothers and sisters, I'm going to remind y'all to make sure, if you can, go ahead and get this book. Go ahead and get it if, if you can find it. Like I say, it was a blessing that I came across this book here, okay? And this is Septimia Service, The African Emperor. But he was a Hebrew Israelite Negro, okay? All right. The Byzantine Empire. Um, the Byzantine Empire. So, I came across, I met a guy, okay? I met a guy. Uh, uh, a person, a collector of rare coins, Okay? And I had to go, I had to go way out. I had to go, you know, nice little distance. I looked, looked this guy, I met him, and uh, I developed a rapport and a professional relationship with him. Okay, I told him when I was teaching into history, antiquities, and all that other good stuff, right? So, basically, what, what this brother did, I called him a brother because, you know, it, it, you know he, he's a brother, you know. It's, you know, he's a good, he's a white guy, he's a white brother, but he's, you know, he's a brother. Um, he's learning about Christ right now. Uh, I've had many conversations uh, edifying and educating him and trying to get him, you know, teaching him the history. You know, he, 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 was, uh, he was a pagan. You know, he was into, you know, pagan and idol worships in terms of, you know, uh, you know, but over the course of time, you know, he's allowed me the opportunity to teach him and edify him certain things on the history, okay? The, the history of Christ, uh, the people of Christ, our people, so on and so forth, the, the nations of the earth, uh, according to the Bible, first and foremost. So he's allowed me the opportunity, but his specialty and specialization in this world is dealing with ancient uh, uh, coins, artifacts, so on and so forth, right? So brothers and sisters, I was able to, uh, I was able to acquire a few a, a few things and have a few things ordered. Uh, some very very rare historical artifacts. Okay. What I like to show you today is, I like to show you um, the bust of Christ. I'm about to show you guys a bust of Christ, 
All right. So what is a bust of Christ? Well, a bust of Christ is is a, a coin. Right. It's the bust, the headshot, back shot of an old coin that was minted in the Byzantium era. OK, so hold on real quick, brothers and sisters. I want to just make sure I have my, my information and notes here because I have a lot, lot here jotted down here. And I want to make sure you guys get the right information. OK, bear with me real quick here. Bear with me real quick, brothers and sisters. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. One moment, brothers and sisters. One moment, please. Let me get this here. I want to show you a few photos here uh, before I actually show you the actual bust of Christ from the Byzantine era. You guys are going to love this right here. Um, let's see here. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Now, brothers and sisters, like I say, in terms of the detail, the details, I'm going to show you photos. Okay, I want to show you photos that I took of these rare uh, artifacts, coinage, if you will. Okay, this here is from the Byzantine era. Okay, now we're talking about somewhere between uh, the eighth and eighth and ninth century. Okay, the eighth and ninth century okay let me show y'all what i have here okay okay check this out brothers and sisters let me show you what i got here and uh feast your eyes on this now i'm going to show you the photos first and foremost so you can actually see because you may not be able to see the detail of the artifacts so what you're about to see right now is a Byzantine era uh, artifact of the bust of Christ, okay, with Latin described with Latin inscribed on the actual coin itself. This is what it looks like, brothers and sisters. Check this out. This is what it looks like. See? All right. And this, on the back of it, of this particular coin you just seen, is the Latin inscription. Okay. Uh, let me show you this. Now, the coin I just showed you is a Byzantine era, 8th, 9th century coin. Okay, over a thousand years old, 1100, 1200 years old. Look, see, all right. So, brothers and sisters, I uh, I was able to acquire this particular artifact and this is what it looks like this is a bust of christ byzantine sorry i don't know if you all can see that 
Now this coin is a little dark. I'm gonna do my best here to, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what it is. Okay. There it is. Now I don't know if you can see the detail. Like I say, it's kind of dark. Very, very old coin. Okay. That's the bus of Christ Byzantine era, 8th, 9th century. All right. Yeah. So I was very, very blessed to, to acquire this particular coin. And uh, I thought it'd be good for, once again, teaching, uh, you know, teaching folks and showing people the bust of Christ in this era. All right. All right. Brothers and sisters, I also have another treat for you. Okay, for those who are history buffs, you know, because my thing is, brothers and sisters, uh, part of the enthusiasm and passion that I have is being able to see it's one thing to see, it's a beautiful thing to have books. It is. And it's a beautiful thing to get. Uh, to acquire books that are, are, are out of circulation, are out of print, that are hard to get, that give you the information that was documented to, to teach. You know, I mean, there's, that's a beautiful thing. There's another level and degree to where, you know, you can actually acquire uh, uh, artifacts from the era that you're teaching on. So that you can show people. It's like going to a museum. So, brothers and sisters, yesterday I showed y'all Septimius Servus Niger, right? The Hebrew Israelite emperor. Let me show y'all something. Now, mind you, I showed you guys out of the book his the various different uh, denarii from the Roman era at his time, right? From the Roman mint. And I showed you a few photographs, right? Okay. I showed you guys uh, Presenius Niger. I showed you uh, Claudius Albinus. And I also show you Pertinix along with Septimius Servus, right? This is what I showed y'all yesterday, remember? I'm sorry. I showed y'all that yesterday, right? That's Septimius Servus Niger. Now, brothers and sisters, the gentleman who I was telling y'all about who I've developed a, 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 a professional relationship with him, a strong rapport, he's even allowed me the opportunity a few times to edify him on uh, biblical history, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, well, uh, he already knew what I was doing and uh He's connected with certain people. You, you understand what I'm saying? He's connected with certain people, right? Because in order to acquire certain things, you know, you have, you know, you got to develop a, a professional relationship, right? So what I did was, what I did, brothers and sisters, is I, uh, I took a few pictures, right? And mind you, I was able to, uh, you know, get my hand on a few things, right? Let me show you something. I was able to take a few photographs. And this is what I was, the photo and coin of Septimius Service Niger. That's an actual coin, right? Silver mint. All silver. See? 
And I'm going to show you the back of the Laureate, the reverse of the coin of the Laureate, which is this. Okay. Brothers and sisters, I am truly honored to introduce, I was able to acquire Septimius Service Niger coin. And here it is. Here it is, brothers and sisters. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. See? Now, this coin had to be, there was a bid that was placed on this particular coin, okay? These aren't very, these are very difficult to, to, to get, very difficult, okay? And if you notice, this, the bid on this coin was, um, the auction was, between the 14th and 16th of August. So we're talking about last month, 2021, okay? And if you look, you'll see at the corner, right here, at this corner, 14th to the 16th of August, 2021, okay? Septimius Service Niger. There it is, brothers and sisters. And this is the back of it. I can show you this. I don't know if you guys see that. There it is. Look at that. Let me show the, the front it once again. Look at that, brothers and sisters. That is what I wanted to show you all yesterday. I wanted to share that with you. I am truly, truly, you know, thankful and proud to have acquired. And once again, um, the company is called Lu Na Mismatic. Now, this company is located in Switzerland. Okay, so the bid in the auction was in Switzerland. It had to be uh, exported over here to the States, United States of America here, okay? Along with the information. Check that out. I don't know if y'all see that, but let me, right there. Okay. All right. And basically, brothers and sisters, for each uh, bid, you have what you call a lot number. I want to show you the actual lot number, okay? Let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something real quick. I'm truly, truly thankful to share this with y'all, okay? Hold on real quick, y'all. Real quick, y'all. Okay, come on, Steve. Let's go and get there. All right, let's see here. Um, like I say, brothers and sisters, I'm up here listening to the rain out there. It's been raining all day. And uh, I tell you, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay. I 
what I'm going to do, brothers and sisters, I want to pull up the website. I want to show you all something. Okay. Let me show you all something real quick. Thank you for your patience, okay? Okay. L E. Let's see. L L E U N. Okay, here, here it is. Okay, brothers and sisters, on the on the corner of this Septimius Service Niger is a lot number. Okay? Um actually it's on the corner, it's right here. It's on the top, it's on the top corner here, okay? There's a lot number. So the first thing I did is when I got my hands on on both of these coins, I wanted to verify the authenticity, the uh, authenticity of, of these particular artifacts here, okay? So now what I'm going to is I'm going to, um, let's see here. Let me, I'm sorry. I want to show you guys the lot numbers on these here, okay? Okay. I don't want that. I don't want that, brothers and sisters. I don't want that. I'm sorry. I'm. Thank you for your patience. I know you guys like, come on, Steve, you get your stuff together. But listen, I, you got to take this time because, you know, uh, I'm not very familiar with this particular website. I'm trying to find uh, the lot verification, and I want to show you all something. So on this website, they have they have a variety of ancient coins. Uh, they specialize in Byzantine, Roman. Uh, they do it all. Uh, Judea. Oh, they have coins here, brothers and sisters, that you can utilize uh, for your for your sessions and teachings. You know, because you know people like people like to see. You know, they, they want to see physical and tangible items. You know, it always helps. It increases the imagination, the understanding. It's just a beautiful thing to have. So, um, well, anyway, brothers and sisters, let me show you something. Remember the war of, uh, of Masada when our ancestors, the Negroes, fled Judea, fleeing Roman persecution, and went into Africa? Well, I have here, I have here a picture of the first Hebrew war, 66 to 70 AD, right? And it's a picture one-eighth of a bronze shekel, okay? That's on the way, all right? Very, a, a lot of people want this. I know I want it, you know. I'm going to show you. So take a look at this, brothers and sisters. Check that out. The lot number is right there on the top of Judea. So, brothers and sisters, that's kind of what I want to share with you uh, today here. I couldn't find the actual lot, but once again, each one of these are imported from Switzerland, and they're verified by certain lots uh, based upon the bids. So, um, brothers and sisters, I didn't want to make this too long. I, this is what I wanted to share with you yesterday. And, uh, you know, I hope you all like this video. And... Uh, Man, it's been a blessing to come in, come to y'all with this, to share this with y'all. You know, I'm truly, truly thankful. Well, hey, listen, brothers and sisters, may the Most High, Ahaya, Asho, Ahaya, Bashem, Yashai, Wawawa, cover y'all, cover your families, your children. You know what I'm saying? May the spirit and peace of rest go ahead every single one of you as you travel to and fro. Brother Steve, you already know. 
I love y'all. Straight up love y'all. You, you know, shalom, bless you, and I'm out. Peace.